Turned out to wish their team the best for tomorrow night's Foster's Cup Grand Final against Essendon. Not since the early 80s have the passions been stirred so much, but as Essendon coach Kevin Sheedy says, that's all great until you hit the ground. Like the Tiger of old, we're strong and we're bold and we're from Tiger. Yellow and black. The Tigers were back and roaring at Punt Road last night. You could easily have thought it was the last week in September, not the middle of March, as the Richmond players received the huge ovation. When the boys come out from the dressing rooms, it, uh, their eyes popped out of their head a bit, though. Uh, I don't think we've seen that sort of crowd down there for, for at least four or five years. The old timers were back. The kids who have not known the glory days of the club were witnessing a whole new aspect of football. It was just terrific to see so many people. I mean, the 5,000 people there and they've come from all over Victoria just for the night. So, you know, they seem to be more pumped up than anybody, which is terrific for the club. Not only were the young Tigers basking in the glory, but some of the biggest names of Richmond's great years were as well. The Swamp Fox, Mike Patterson, Paddy Ganane, Michael Roach, Emmett Dunn, Barry Richardson, Merv Keane, to name a few. Well, Alan Bull Richardson had the pleasure of passing his old number 12 jumper onto his son, Matthew. Some were not so sure how to react, like former Richmond captain Brian Wood. Wood received a mighty ovation. Tomorrow night, he will combine with that other great tiger, Kevin Sheedy, as Essendon's runner. Well, there won't be too much of a problem for me, Ed. I, I mean, I can't lose. Uh, whichever way it goes, I, I'm on the winning side. Sheedy declined the invitation to present his old Guernsey. It's a fantastic club and I've been an Essendon now for this is my 13th year. And why shouldn't two great clubs fight it out? And I think that's one of the best things that's happened in footy in the last six months. The biggest ovation was reserved for the smallest in stature only of all Richmond players, Dale Waitman. The oldest player in the team, the flea, was most impressive at training last night. The only Tiger to have played in a Premiership team back in 1980, Waitman is expected to be named in the side for tomorrow night. Well, he's played quite well over the last two or three weeks. He's uh, lift up the tempo in his training and I suppose tomorrow morning will be deciding. We have one player under a cloud and, uh, you know, Dale certainly could find himself in the team. But ever the realist, one of their favourite sons may just spoil the party. There's only one way you find out, down on the deck.